What up, what up? It's HML. Got a bit of an update for you guys. This is brought to you from the Daily Mail, and these are the pictures of the last time Malia was seen at the apartment. This was on April 30th. Apparently, that's the same day the mother went to the airport for a funeral. She's seen walking in, but she's never seen walking out. Now, this next picture is from May 3rd. The laundry basket, the garbage bag, the same materials that were found in the trunk that he said was stolen with a gas can. He's seen walking and taking that out. Okay, and the same day, you can see him and his son coming out of the apartment. Clorox bleach in hand. No Malaya, though. Uh, I believe she's been deceased for several days or I'm not sure how long. Maybe he was trying to figure out a ways of to dispose of her. Did the mother not call at all from the 30th to the 3rd? Why did the mother, after finding out that the daughter was missing, lie to police and everybody else? It took a full six, seven days. You gave this guy a bunch of time to hide the evidence and even move the evidence several times. So I just found that to be a little bit strange. Okay, that's the same day. Also, they claim to be kidnapped. All right. But there's no Malaya to be kidnapped. Now, this photo here is vince on the fourth entering the hospital because he says he was unconscious for 24 hours so the next day in the hospital where he said he walked but he was actually dropped off by that same stolen vehicle that they found the gas can that garbage bag the laundry basket or whatever and they smelled human decomposition in the back of that trunk so you add it all up, and we know where this goes, right? And I want to end off on a final note. Take a look at this picture. Take a look at what a killer looks like, okay? He proposes to be some sort of family man, all right? Take note of that.